Okay, folks, as you can see, I'm as done as I can get on this thing. Uh, and I apologize for not having any videos, but I have been busier than, than I've been in a long time with record calls. It seems like uh, right here before Christmas, everybody was breaking down or wrecking. So, uh, I, you know, I had to rush to get this done. There's a lot of little things I'd like to have done that I didn't do. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you what that, you know, some of them, just because if somebody else wants to build something like this or... You know, it don't have to be nothing this nice. You know, a kid would love an old riding lawnmower to ride around on. But uh, uh, a horn, did not get a horn on it. Uh, I wanted to put plexiglass in it and then actually put a little uh, pretend windshield wiper, you know, the old style, like the Model T's had used from hand. Uh, I didn't get my lights mounted like I wanted them. Uh, they don't hit the tires, though. They do, you know, the tires do clear them fine. And uh, I wanted the blue lights at the top, but I didn't get that done. And uh, just done a few little things, and you know, these old rims was them ones that uh, my buddy Charlie had given me. The uh, the lawnmower, a good friend of mine, Kyle, brought me. Uh, Lawrence Wilson gave me the uh, the uh, scoop for it, and uh, he cut that out on the the plasma, and uh, come out really good. We haven't cleaned it up or anything yet. I'm getting ready to move it around to the building. It's Christmas Eve and uh, just finished up a few little things on it uh, you know works really good drives around good I think he'll he'll have a good time on it it's you know nice and slow it don't it probably goes about as fast as one of them little power wheels it does right now now I can change that and that's not a problem to change I just don't want to do it yet we're gonna let him ride it a little while and get used to it and I uh, painted a couple little bug eyes on there and uh, and you know, there's other emblems and stuff that you can throw on them. I had a custom sport emblem that I could have, uh, you know, cut up and put on it. Here's a uh, an emblem that's off of a uh, 57 Chevrolet dash. And I put the switch on it for the lights. And of course it lights up when you turn it on. I wanted to do that because, you know, that way he'll know that they're on. They all work good. Uh, and like I said, I just put the pipes on it and for anybody that's watching this that don't know the the whole scoop on this, uh, the reason I done it like I done it with the dual exhaust running out the back is I didn't want these pipes getting hot and him burning himself on them. So we just ran fake side pipes. Uh, they're mounted strong enough where he can stand up on the top of it. You can see it sticks out so he can help climb him, climb in. Uh, not going to hurt a thing. And then uh, we added them. Uh, then we just old heat shields off of Harley Davidson. I added them in. The front just to cover the hole. I didn't want to just put a front flat plate there. Then rubber bumpers are the bumpers that came off of that uh, the grill bar that I made that out of. And then the outside piece that it's actually welded in it as five inches. That's a uh, clutch plate out of a Honda motorcycle. So we you know just done that on both sides just to just to cover the holes and uh, looks good. And added a few other little things a little chrome accents there on the side that was on a Camaro that was a flood car that I had brought in it's I got stuck with so I seen them I just grabbed them off I'd taken the letters or or the stickers off the engine so I wanted to put something back on it so it didn't look so plain right there and uh, anyway added the mirror uh, I did get time to do that that's just an old motorcycle mirror I cut down and threaded the shaft and put it in there so uh, anyway I think he's gonna have a a good Christmas and what we're gonna do is pull this back this into a little building I've got out back I've got my little Honda 70 motorcycle in there and just about every time he comes outside he's wanting to go look at Papa's bike he won't touch it he won't drive it he won't ride on it he won't get on it but he likes to look at it so when he runs out to the shed and he can you know just about open the doors himself and and the difference is, is when he opens the doors tomorrow uh, this will be in there and uh, we'll see how he likes it but and I'll probably film that like I said we'll put something on there and uh, but you know I appreciate everybody you know watching all the, the videos on this I enjoyed doing it I, I wish I'd had more time to do videos on it and uh, you know just remember you know that about everything here is all old junk and parts and you know stuff I'd picked up here and there and you know the body of course most of you know is a, an old uh, uh, I think Montgomery Wards is who made it, but it, or who had it made, but it was sold through Montgomery Wards. It's just an old heater that uh, was an electric fake log, you know, the 
heater that went on the wall. And uh, I bought a few things. I bought the fenders, uh, the headlights, and, you know, just little odds and ends of the, the, the Naga from the Naga farm. But besides that, everything, I think steering wheel. But, you know, most of it's just old stuff. I mean, I, I even thought about I could have made a steering wheel, but I just didn't have time. And I wish I'd have had some more time to do different stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. I uh, did no body work on it. So when you see the waves and stuff, don't think much about it. And, uh, but it's done. And like I said, I think he'll like it. It's, you know, it should be plenty for a kid. So, uh, like I said, I appreciate everybody watching. And, uh, you know, we'll keep you updated on this. And until uh, next time. Bye.